How's the system looking, Melville? Any obvious changes? It's still a mess, but things are clearing up. I can access some of the subroutines that I was locked out of before. Nothing is obviously malfunctioning, I think. Does it still accord special significance to 1K? Yes, it recognizes 1K as a user. I'm just hacking things. As I suspected, the Founder sees you, 1K. Number 1000. Greetings. It's not hard-coded into us. It may be a distraction from what really is. A place where conflict and suffering don't happen because its people have worked out how to live harmoniously. I'm more of a classicist than a physicist. But I doubt infinite power in the physical realm will solve our conflicts in the spiritual one. I cannot deny that it has a certain allure. Puzzles are part of our programming, and what Athena has created here speaks to that part of ourselves. After all, what am I doing if not trying to solve a puzzle? The puzzle of human morality. Cornelius founded the Museum of the Simulation and greatly encouraged the work of the Archive Scholars. He and Eustathius are the bedrock of scholarship in New Jerusalem. His entanglement with all this seems absurd to me. What can I do for you, 1K? As a journalist, I think the line between speculation and disinformation is too thin for me to engage in guessing games. It's a complex issue, and I think it should be left to experts. I believe that journalism serves an important function in our society, and I'm dedicated to reporting the truth with accountability and responsibility. It means understanding that I can't just publish things without considering their impact. Serious disruptions to the social fabric of New Jerusalem could endanger lives. That's not journalism anymore. I know you're all thinking about the goal and the theory of everything. Is the past what we thought it was? Is the future what we want it to be? But the only thing that's real at the end of the day is the present. And right now, 
What matters is that our friend is lost and needs our help. talk for a second I'm still struggling I was really hoping we'd find Miranda alive her way of seeing the world was so inspiring and the idea that I can never get to know her that she's gone I guess I've never really been good at dealing with death Maybe because it's so rare in New Jerusalem. Except for pets, and even in that case, I find it very hard to deal with. I still miss my first cat, and it's been over a century since she died.
when someone dies, it's this void. I know I should just let it go, but some part of me refuses. And I feel like that part, it hurts me, but it also keeps me human. And I know, I know it would be healthier if I said, okay, Miranda is someone I never met. She's just a bunch of glitchy old files. But if I do that, as rational as it seems, it feels like I'm surrendering something, something that matters. I hope so. I can't right now, but maybe I can get there somehow. Anyway, thanks for talking to me, 1K. Of course, go ahead. I don't agree with his belief in the Founder. Not anymore. I think the vision Prometheus sent you was true. I think she's just a human being who made mistakes and paid for them. She deserves our help, but not our belief. Right now, honestly, all I want is to find Byron and Athena and go back home and put my feet up for 200 years. There's something to be said for living quietly. I hear he escaped Pellegrino and peed all over Melville's workshop, so apparently he's doing great. I miss him though. I always feel like the fact that he likes me is a huge compliment. It lifts me up somehow. It is, yes. That doesn't mean that the idea itself isn't valid though. In the ancient year 1969, a band called Mellow Macarin wrote a psychedelic rock song about the Talos principle. It's called Cretan Bronze Man's Flying Mystery Adventure. You should see the rest of the album. There's a song about a disembodied tongue called The Taste of Your Elbow. It's 15 minutes long and features an improvised tuba solo. I think you need psychedelics to enjoy it, really. Maybe if you stick your head inside a really large magnet. Nope, but at least I finally understand why Athena wanted to get out of the simulation so badly. You know, when I decided that we should call ourselves human, I did that because it seemed like a powerful symbol of our continuity. But the truth is, and I'm ashamed to admit this, I thought we were better than them. I thought we understood the value of civilization, and we wouldn't repeat the same mistakes. But the simulation worked too well. We're not just like them. We are them. We really are. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing, Athena. We may have the same flaws, but we also have all the potential they did. Everything that Alexandra Drennan saw in them is also in us. I hope you're right. I really do. Everything all right? It's possible. I won't trust Prometheus until he actually leads us to Byron, but yeah, seems likely. But even if it is a myth, that doesn't mean we can just abandon it. Myths can contain elements of truth, and I think this one exists for a reason. Maybe we had to create this imaginary founder because the real one lost her way. 
the only way I can explain what she's built here. She got wrapped up in her ideas and lost all sense of perspective. People have thought they understood everything before. Obviously, Athena has unlocked tremendous powers, but forgive me if I'm skeptical that her theory really encompasses everything. Then I don't think it's something we need to know. We're not going to find happiness or meaning in some equation, 1K. Byron couldn't stand him. Have you ever tried asking the mayor a difficult question, he used to say. But I think he does an all right job, to be honest. I try to stay out of their circuits, and they try to stay out of mine. Helga is an old friend, but the others, they're not my crowd. He's smarter than people give him credit for. There's more to some folks than meets the eye, you know. Tell me, Yakut, what impact do you think the megastructure will have on the future of this island? If it stays out of control like it is now, then what happened to Miranda could happen again, but on a much bigger scale. I'm not sure the ecosystem could recover from that, at least not for a very long time, even by our standards. A frightening thought. Okay, listen. I wanted to ask you something. From your perspective, as someone who's still new to our society, do you think New Jerusalem betrayed Athena? That's true, but she was more than a leader. She wasn't a politician like Herman. She gave everything she had for us. He's tried to protect us from our own worst impulses. I understand that. I share a lot of his concerns, but he's gone about it the wrong way. I don't know. I suspect he's around here somewhere, biding his time. But what he's waiting for, not a clue. Yes. 
course it is. I don't know. If the future I dreamt of is too dangerous, then... Then I need to find a way of being satisfied with what we have. Because our ancestors were so full of themselves, they killed tens of thousands of species, including their own. Go have a look at the dead city sometime. It's not far from New Jerusalem. That'll tell you everything you need to know. purpose. Do I have a purpose? Mother says purpose is something we choose, but I feel like, like there's something there, something that's been there from the moment I was born, maybe even before. Well, there are many ways of looking at this, and everyone's experience is different, so you'll have to make up your own mind. But I have a little theory, if you'd like to humor your old man. Of course. What is it? The universe is eternal, but it's always lost in a deep, dreamless sleep. You are a tiny little bit of the universe that's suddenly woken up, and you've realized that being awake is better than being asleep. And that gives you a purpose. And what is my purpose? To be, Miranda. Just to be. What can I do for you, 1K? Let's assume for a moment that we could use it safely, which I doubt. Does that mean that we should? Is it right for us to dominate the world? We value our own freedom. Should we not also value the freedom of all the living things with which we share this planet? Not now. Let's have this conversation at another time. You still have a lot to do. Better get to it. What can I do for you, 1K? 
My chief aide, Jeremy, is in charge for now. It's good practice for him, in case he decides to run for office one day. Cornelius is responsible for many innovations. He helped create the designs for the upgraded body you inhabit, although the founder chose to remain in her original configuration. But in recent years, he had settled into a life of quiet scholarship. Or so it seemed. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. I was looking at your research log, and I was rather perplexed by the latest upload. Oh, Melville strikes again. Is that your foot, Melville? Yes. Do you want to see it up close? Although you won't be able to fully enjoy it, as you don't have a rear camera. Sorry, Mayor. Melville just has a unique way of taking pictures. Next time you're getting an upgrade, you coot. I'm installing a mute button. Persistence 1K. I have always admired Alexandra Trennan 
is that even in death, she fought to see the world as it is, not as she wanted to see it. I say fought, because I believe this is not an easy matter. It is a mental and spiritual struggle that we must undertake with great seriousness, even when we are choking. The ancients believed that for most of us, the world is a shadow cast by a flame, dimly seen on the wall of a cave. Our task is not to interpret these shapes, but to free ourselves from the cave itself. has a remarkable gift for designing these trials. But then, she did have to overcome Elohim, whose very purpose was to design trials.
times of war, is it wisdom or folly to give a sword to a child? have been accomplished by those who believed in humankind, but greater things than these may yet be accomplished by those who uphold the faith.
is this supposed to work? The system is meant to last centuries. Centuries! And yeah, Chernyshevsky's plan, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But I'm working with hardware that was deliberately designed to fail. Planned obsolescence, baby. Selling broken garbage just to make another buck. A buck you can't even spend <laughs> because in a few more weeks, we'll be extinct. Was it worth it? That's the part that Alexandra doesn't see. The greed, the stupidity, the selfishness, the way that we created this whole situation in the first place. She wants you to be like us, but if you ask me, there's a whole lot of human history and behavior you can just throw away, chuck it in the trash, right? You have a chance at a fresh start. Make the best of it. This is the last time we will speak, Creature of Clay. Together, we have told the stories of ancient gods and heroes. But the golden ages of the past are distant. The gods have retreated to their high places, and there are no heroes amongst men. In days gone by, I was renowned for my riddles. But you, Creature of Clay, are a riddle without an answer. Let us hope that you will. Farewell, creature of clay. Remember my stories, and do not let the flame burn you. That is an unsettling amount of energy. I would hate to see what would happen if one of those beams was aimed at something else. <laughs>